and gentlemen, my name is Quillet. I'm a gospel minister. Thank you so much for coming and God bless you. Please make sure you share this page, invite people and like the page, follow it, recommend the page to people because we are serving thousands of people on this platform, millions of people out of abusive marriages. God bless you so much. I want you to know this. In this world, there are so many people that you will meet. And most of them will make an impact in your life. If you are not married and you want to choose them as your spouse, it is okay. You need to pray about it and then you go ahead. But if you are married and you meet somebody who makes impact in your life, you are not allowed. It is forbidden to marry that person because the person is making an impact in your life. If you start to reason this way, then you need to marry a whole community. If two women will bring something to your table, it means thousands of women can also bring something to your table. And you need to go about marrying all those people. You, Idochi has come out again to tell us about his family, which he told us the other day that we shouldn't be interested in it because it is his life and it is his choice. He came out today to say something different. He wants us to know why he married a second wife. So those of you who are saying, mind your business, mind your business, we cannot mind our business because he is communicating with us. You communicate, you communicate back. And as much as I am talking about abusive marriage, if he come out, I'll pick up his story and use it for my people, my royals, to understand how these things can cause abuse in marriages. And we need to uproot them. We need to avoid them. We need to get rid of them out of our system. Africa, polygamy and tradition is killing us. It is causing abuse in marriages. You marry 10 wives, 5 wives. You have so many children. Most of the children are not uh, in good terms with, with, with one another. The women are always fighting. They are running to their juju men, to their native doctors, to their pastors, wherever to pray hard because they want you to love them. They want your attention. And you think this is healthy? You think this is okay? It causes peace of mind. And you yourself, will you have peace of mind? Now, no man who is married to two women can ever have peace of mind. That is the truth. You, Idochi, came out the other day to say it is none of our business. But today he came and he's saying, uh, he appreciates whoever was asking whatever is going on and so on and so forth. Listen, it is not easy. Uh, I see from his talking, I think he might be depressed. Perhaps he needs public sympathy. Maybe he wants valid validation from us. Uh, or maybe he feels guilty. It could be any of these things. And listen, there is this silent judge called conscience. Whatever you do, he will judge you. If you don't have this silent judge called conscience, it means you are dead and you need to be revived. Okay? So you said, you Idochi said, he saw that the second wife is a wonderful woman and she's so amazing and he could not just say she should go out of her life and it was so good that he got married to her because she also brings something different to the table. And the first wife also brings something different to the table. I don't know the table that he's talking about. And that different things they bring to the table, I don't even know. Different things to the table. Is he talking about bed issues or, I don't know. Different things to the table. In fact, Mr. Yu Idochi, you can get millions of women who can bring different things to your table. Honestly. No disrespect, but you can get so many women who will bring different things to your table. So tomorrow, if your first wife gets up and say, I have met a man and he has made a lot of impact in my life, he will also bring something different to my table. So I also, I also want to go and marry to this man. What will be your answer? If you get married, that table 
or whatever you are talking about. This table, it belongs to you. You and your spouse, you are together. Mr. You, don't you, you don't have a table. Your wife doesn't have a table. Any table you, you both are having is just one. And that is your table. So no woman from outside there is capable of bringing anything to that table. It is discipline to say yes to one woman and stick to that. It is discipline to know that if somebody make an impact in your life, you don't go marrying that person. It is discipline that you draw the line between people who are making impact in your life and people that, and a wife that you are married to. This is discipline. So if you think about tradition and if you think that you are a man and you can do that because you have money, then it is no more anything bringing to table or anything somebody is bringing to whatever table. This is purely tradition. From the way you spoke today, I know you have listened to uh, my program and it is blessing your life. And I thank God for that. And I know for sure that things work out because I saw that you were not in a very good mood. Even whilst you were talking, you made sure that you not offend any of the women. And this is what poly polygamy does. You always need to please, please somebody. You said that uh, a lot of people used to say it is uh, not easy for a man to love two women at the same time. You used to believe that, but you don't believe it again. And you said that is your opinion. It is not true. You can never love two women at the same time. You said it is true. I am saying it is not true. What is love? That thing you are calling love, it is not love. It is called lust. And as for lust, you can lust for thousands of women at the same time. So even if you are calling it love, are you sure those women, they also love you at the same time? It is not possible. No man marries two and have peace of mind. That one, please note that. So tradition and polygamy is causing abuse in marriages. It is killing people. It is killing men, women. Children are suffering in su such marriages. Our problems in Africa, Nigeria, everywhere around the world in Africa is polygamy. It is polygamy and tradition. And that is what is causing so much abuse. In marriages, the women are quiet because they are women. The men are super, they are head, and for that reason, they can marry as much as they want. I have said it already in my previous video, and it is rather unfortunate. But even as I'm standing here, okay, assigned by Elohim to speak about this particular issue, you will end it. It will stop. I am telling you. If you are a boy, if you are a man watching me, please don't believe that you can love two women at the same time. It is not true. It is a burden. It is a problem. You can die out of it. It will bring burden to you. You cannot sleep. Sleepless nights. You will be thinking. You always need to please one woman. Please this woman. It is not easy. You see that? You is having political ambitions. I don't even see him talking about it again. Anytime he comes out now, he, he, he is supposed to explain something to somebody. If you think it's okay, everything is fine, then you don't, you don't need to explain anything to anybody again. Because if you come and explain it, I will pick it as a case study and share it with my viewers. Okay, with people who are watching me. I will share it with them because this blessing life just as my teachings has blessed you. I saw from your talking today. You have listened to me. And the way you came out the other day. And you said shame to people. You, you didn't speak well. But today you were very very polite to people. And it means you are listening to this program. It is making impact in your life. And I know that things will change. Yes. So. If you are here. You are having problems in your marriage. You are facing problems with your husband, with your wife. And he or she is telling you, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Please, make sure you run. Go to police station. Report at the nearest 
police station. Lodge a complaint. Tell your family members, move from that, uh, from that place. Separate, go on separation. So that you not die and leave your children. Because it is not enough for you to die and the man will be arrested and will be placed in prison. For what? You have wasted your life and he is wasting his life as well. And that is not what we want. You want everybody to live so that we will fulfill the task that the Lord has given to us. We are one people. We are human beings. We need to love each other, cherish each other. We don't have to place somebody in a cage. We don't need to work on someone's freedom because we are all supposed to have our peace of mind. God bless you so much for coming. And please subscribe to our page on YouTube, Quinlet Music, TikTok, follow Quinlet Music, Instagram, follow Quinlet Music, Twitter, follow Quinlet Music, like our page on Facebook and follow. God bless you so much for watching me. Thank you.